Hi, and welcome to our Getting Started with Cycle tutorial. In this video, we'll walk you through creating a new cycle account, introduce you to the editor, and show you how you can publish your changes. We'll start by heading over to the sign up form on cycleapp.com and choosing a new name for our site. This name will become part of the URL you use to view and edit your site, but later you can choose your, to use your own domain if, if you prefer. Enter your details and hit create when you're done. Once built, you'll receive a Getting Started email and you will be given a link to start editing your site. Follow this link now, and I'm going to take you into the editor. You'll notice that your new site is already populated with some dummy content. This is designed to help you get a feel for the layout of your chosen template, but we'll soon get rid of all that and replace it with our own. First, I'll just point out a few key items in the editor. In the top left, we have a few menu items that float on top of your site. These contain various settings and options available to you, and new menu items may appear depending on where you are in your site. These will be covered in a future tutorial. Almost everything is editable in that cycle site, and to begin updating, we just click near the text we wish to edit and start making the changes. It should be very familiar if you're used to word processors or desktop publishing packages. The inspector, which appeared when we clicked on an editable area, contains various options that can be applied to the current selection. For example, heading styles or emphasis in the case of text content, or upload controls in the case of image content. In the top right, the orange save button has appeared to indicate we have unsaved changes. I'm done editing this for now, so I'll save this. Before anyone can see our changes outside of the editor, we must publish our site by choosing publish from the site menu. We'll talk more about why the publish step is useful in its own tutorial. To leave the editor, we just choose log out from the site menu. And we'll be taken to our live site with our changes we've just made. I think that concludes our getting started tutorial. Uh, join me on the next one where we'll go into more detail of what the editor can do and how you can get more control over your page layout.